Ladies and gentlemen, throughout TOTS every single week, I have showed you guys exactly how to guarantee yourself a TOTS from the current TOTS. And Ultimate TOTS is no different. I'm going to be showing you how to get your best cards, your favorite cards, and what you need to do for them. So make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And if you do want your weekend league games played, awesome coins, well, if you guys are still stuck with a team like this, and everyone you play in champs has a team like this, then you need to head over to Skycoach in the link below. Not only have they got the cheapest and most reliable service for FIFA coins, you can pick any amount of coins, select your console, and put in code PROREECALL for 10% off. Now, first of all, you're going to notice I have 50 player picks. So there are 50 82 plus player picks. Now they have been removed from the store. We now only have 81 pluses. If we go through here, it's kind of ruined the grind a little bit, but not too much. There's still a route to use these and they're still useful. So if we have a look on what you need for these, you're looking at one rare and seven commons, which is not too bad. It's definitely not too bad. I found the 81 picks really good initially. They are definitely not as good as 82 pluses. Obviously on average, it's got to be a little bit worse, but I do think these are still very good picks. So they're still going to be useful for us. Of course, we got the League One Tots upgrade. I'm going to pop this open, but we're not going to include that as part of this video because that's a blatant easy one. And of course, technically this doesn't actually guarantee you an ultimate Tots. It can be any of the League One Tots, which of course can be pretty damn bad depending on who you get. Now, as you can see, I'm actually running running out of kind of fodder team of the seasons i mean they're all 94 95 fodders but like i don't want to put them in these spcs now for those of you who have nothing and you need to build up from something in order to even get player picks in order to get anything that i'm going to be looking at today don't worry very easily all you've got to do for that if you're starting from absolutely nothing is there's a link in the description below on the premium mixed league upgrades how to get unlimited packs very very easily and that video is going to help you out and all you've got to do run through that and then come back over here because realistically it's the only method to get you free packs and free coins and if you are starting with nothing that's where you're going to have to go first now we've got this one completely filled out so of course we do have a league one tots waiting i do think there's probably a very small chance that it's something i'm happy with but we always need to pray for a, a big one there now the 81 plus player pick as we mentioned before it is new it was obviously 82. They've changed it around. They've been doing this week on week. I don't know what happens to this at the end of the week. I don't know what the next promo is. We have no idea what the route for champs is. So I don't know if we get the 82 plus back. So we'll talk about those in this video. Obviously, I've done the 82s, but we'll talk about them as if they're 81s. Now, this SBC here, Path to Glory Countdown Challenge, I mean, that kind of tells you what the next promo is going to be the path to glory promo you want to get these done because there's going to be objectives around it it's going to be useful for you now if we head over to the live section of course you've got the team of the season daily login 84 times two there we've got a team of the season guaranteed on the way are any of these going to guarantee us an ultimate tots no now the one thing you can do to guarantee yourself an ultimate tots that i'm doing additionally to this video you know there's a few things we're going to do here but this is an additional and it's not easy i'm going to be making sure that i get elite one in in squad battles this week now i did this two weeks ago i didn't do it for Serie A tots i couldn't be bothered i didn't have the time you guarantee an ultimate champs ultimate tots guarantee so you're guaranteed an ultimate champs tots card now is it going to be good we don't know could be savio could be absolutely awful could be ronaldo could be mbappe could be Virgil. You've got a guarantee it is one of the ultimate TOTS team, which is very, very much worth it. Now, if you are if you are a dog, if you are able to get in the trenches for squad battles, Anchor 100 looks pretty damn crazy. Now, I'll be honest, from getting Elite 1, it is definitely not easy to get rank 100 squad battles. You pretty much have to play every game on ultimate and get a load of shots, a load of goals. I don't think that's worth it, but Elite 1 for all of us isn't a bad shout. If you have a look at the other ranks available, Elite 2 is going to guarantee you an ultimate champs tots guarantee is that the exact same all right so that's just a champs guarantee so the difference is elite one is an ultimate tots this one's just a tot so i'm going to go for the ultimate tots obviously go for whatever you got the time for i know squad battles is not going to be enjoyable for most of us so it's not something you want to do immediately now of course the 85 plus player picks these are going to be really useful for getting yourself your tots that you want now i'm going to whiz through these you're only going to see the highlights because of course they've been taken out of the store i don't want to spend too much time on them of course they're not far off of the 81s but they are going to be a little bit better now the the reason we do picks in the way we do the reason i'm so keen on picks is because of things like that you get so many big fodder players am i expecting a team of the season out of this absolutely not i don't even know if we'll get a special card out of any of these picks i don't even know if we'll get a bad special card but what i do know is in the last four picks i've had free exchange packs what that means is it's going to be very easy for me to recycle this into exchanges which i can then recycle back into picks into the other variations of packs available so no i don't believe that this is going to guarantee me an ultimate tots what it guarantees me is a route to continually just spamming these picks to spamming these packs and eventually getting myself an ultimate tots now obviously that's a process it's not going to be easy if it was we'd all have ultimate tots i'd have r9 i'd have ronaldo up front i'd have the ronaldo pivot but 
as you can see, we're getting a lot of high rated cards. Now, of course, I fully understand these picks are slightly better than the ones that are currently available. So I do apologize. These are the ones I've done. I prepared this for six o'clock thinking brilliant. For once, I'll get some prep in for a video. And unfortunately, they took them away. That's my bad for not noticing that the picks were almost done. Now, I've done 50 here. Now, 50 of these 82 pluses is probably the same as about 80 of your standard 80 pluses let's see you know if you want the average to be the same you're gonna have to do a few more picks you're gonna have to boom out and get some some big picks do get the big picks doing some big crafting going now of course you've seen here we have got an absolute ton so far of just exchange packs you know 88s 87s 87s again every single one of these 87s is going straight into an exchange pack i will not be saving any of these cards i don't need them i simply do not need them because right now you can see i've got a few of these duplicates realistically if i put them into an exchange i'm guaranteeing myself probably a better return than putting them into some sort of spc and right now as you probably all feel the same way as i do there aren't really any desirable spcs you know royce is there it, it's a nice card I'll do it over time. I'm not really in a rush. I'm probably doing it more for the nostalgia of a Royce card than I am for the card itself. I've done R9, and obviously that was the biggest desirable SPC. For me, I know that a lot of people said, oh, well, R9 doesn't look very good. He's not going to be worth it. He's, you know, the curve, is he's going to be behind it. I don't really care about that. It's, I've never owned R9 before, so I just wanted to own R9 in a FIFA game. That is all. And obviously I've got him now, and I'm happy with that. Have I done a load of SPCs that are trash over this time as well? Yes, Thiago Silva, I think was a massive waste. That acceleration really, really has finessed me. I'm a little bit fuming about that, but it is what it is. We make mistakes. If you're if you're like myself, if you're a creator, if you spend a lot of money on the game over the year and, and you get a little bit of money back, it, it makes sense to sometimes waste things. You know, it's, it's trial and error. But obviously, if, if you are a user and you know you're not you're, you're a consumer, sorry, then obviously it's always best watch people's videos, understand what is good, because I think most creators will be fairly honest with you about those kind of things, like an SPC. BC. I was really keen to get Thiago Silva done. I think he's a really good CDM. Not quite the centre back I was hoping for. Now we're coming to the end of these picks. Have we got anything good? Not really, in the sense of, you know, have we got a big special card? No, we haven't. But how many exchange packs can you see here? I mean, if we just get through all these, we've got Cancelo there as well. Let's have a look. So finishing that off, let's count the exchanges because this is a ridiculous amount. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we are literally one player off half of those being exchange packs. That is absolutely ridiculous for a ratio on these these picks now obviously i've done the 82s i understand that but let's imagine you've done the 81s chances are you're probably getting 15 exchange packs so 50 81 plus player picks gets you 15 exchange packs and let's say a few of these are 88 you've got an 89 maybe it's funny that we didn't even get an 89 which is weird but a few 89s maybe whatever it might be if you're getting that much return out of 81 plus player picks of course you will because we've, we've had a look at this in other videos so you can check those as well we do get a good return from those 15 exchange packs ranging from 85 to 88 not even an 89 in there you're going to get a ton back and probably get more than 50 picks back out of that and you just continue this process now picks might not be your bag me personally i love the picks out of all of the things in this game right now i i am a big pick fan i'll be honest i think they're brilliant but you can do the major league doubles we've got a few more days for this guys so we've put them all in exchanges we've got a decent amount of exchange packs from them i don't even know if i'll have these opened by the end of ultimate tots but what we could of course do is craft them all into 81 plus picks now what we also have is the free 85 pluses we're going to pop these open and then we're also going to do the 83 guys i told you that i told you i'd guarantee you ultimate tots that is bon matty that might be i'll be honest that might be one of the best ones i've had this whole this whole team of the season so far bon matty is a banger and now i'm i'm in a bit of a sticky position because i have way too many good midfielders at this point i'll be dead honest that is that is pretty damn crazy, isn't it? I mean, now I'm going to have to pop open some 83 tens with a pretty much guarantee that we're not going to get anything better. We've got the 84 times 2 from the daily login. But you see, when I say I'm going to guarantee you an ultimate touch, I don't lie. I don't lie, guys. I, I come with, with truth only. And uh, I... I'll <laughs> let you guys know how she is in game. We've got five 83 tens. Now, the likelihood is... We don't get a team of the season from these. I'm fully aware of that. The chances are these are exchange pack builders because that 
Griezmann is a bit of a rubbing, isn't it? You know, oh, look at this guy who used to be in Tots. So we're going to pop Rod and Modric into exchanges. Now, why am I quick selling the other cards? I'll be honest, I have so many 84s, 83s, and not really a place to put them in, which is the only problem with like when you do begin crafting loads, is you'll find that you get cards where it's, it's frustrating. It's not nice to see. And for those of you who have the time or the willingness i'm a very lazy person with stuff like this i don't like admin work and i do consider exchanges admin work for youtube videos now the, the the thing is i just can't be bothered to sit there and go through all the 84s and get them in a relevant spc they're worth pretty much nothing now however if you have a very you know the, you, your club's getting to the end of its tethers you are limited put them into 81 plus picks do things like that i just can't be bothered to go through search each player i'm just lazy so the second 83 10 is a stinker we got a chili flag which is probably endler endler pfft. Enler and Grealish from an 8310. I mean, the thing is, these 8310s, we're not expecting a lot. So I'll be honest, guys. We're, we've had some stinky 8310s. We haven't seen a blue flip. Okay, this could be good. German, center back. I don't think that's good. If that's Tar, we've, we've Schlotterbeck. That's not great. If it's a double, this is crazy. I'll be honest, guys. Schlotterbeck hadn't yet. I, the only reason I'm not happy with that at all is because I've had Schlotterbeck a few times. It, and the fact that I don't have him already, you know what, I'll take it because it's not a duplicate. It's another ultimate tot, so that's two. We're two, we're in two, but he's one of them ones who currently goes for 300k on the market because there's. I don't think you can put him for less. Or his price ranges might have been changed now, but he's basically just trash. It, it's a wasted card. Uh, Odegaard again, we are seeing this man way too much. Um, I actually got his 94 card and loved it, adored it, put it in an SBC in an exchange accidentally. That is the one thing you want to be careful with about exchanges, guys. You may make a mistake. And the finale, we've got our last 8310. Now, I will be honest, the 85 plus player pick is what I would expect to get the best result from. If you are doing player picks, do 50 at a time. A lot of people will come on and say, oh, I did play at 10 player picks and they weren't very good. I know this sounds silly, but genuinely, the more you do it once, I find the luck is far, far better. It's definitely a better way to go. We've just got ourselves a very good 8310 comparatively to the other ones. We've got a nice Bernardo Silva there. We've got some, we've got Diani, we've got Froms. We've got free exchange packs from that, which is really good because an 83 times 10 basically costs you, I mean, one team in the season plus a couple cards. So it's, it, that, it's basically a team in the season. One team in the season, but we've got free exchange packs back from it. So it's really good for us to then go and craft some more. Now, as you can see, I've got a load of exchange packs here. There's going to be loads more and we've got the lead oh i forgot about this oh i'm gonna close my eyes oh i saw the flag portugal what is that right back i don't know i think that's trash isn't it it's not very good is it yeah i mean do you know what i i, I got bomb matty i'll take it make sure to subscribe so you get luck like mine and i'll see you guys tomorrow